episode number 29. Hi, you're listening to the Careers Beyond Motherhood podcast with your host, Janine Esbrand. I'm here to help working mums like you to thrive in your careers and in motherhood. I share tips, strategies and inspirational conversations with awesome women to help reduce the struggle in your juggle. Time for a say, mummy. When it comes to career transitions and making changes to your career or returning to work after maternity leave or building your career post maternity, it can feel like there are a lot of questions and often not enough answers. So you can be Googling, you can ask friends, you can ask family, you can speak to people, but you can come away feeling overwhelmed and unsure about the next step to take. So I've decided to put together a 30 day Q&A series where I will be answering the questions. So answering the really common questions and providing insight that I have gained over the past few years working with individual clients and from my personal experience as a, a lawyer who transitioned from being an ambitious working woman to being a working mum. So I bring to you my insights from that perspective and also my perspective as a career coach. So without further ado, let's jump into today's question and answer. Today we're going to be talking about job searching and what you should do when you are first approaching your job search. So before I get started, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Janine Esbrand and I'm the founder of Lightbox Coaching where I help women to return to work with confidence and to build careers that they love. So I am a life and career coach, I'm also a lawyer, I'm also a mummy to two boys babies and a wife to a wonderful husband. So that's a bit about me. So let's jump into what we're talking about today. So job searching and how you should go about the search. So recently I was talking to somebody who is um, in a role and the question was, how do you approach job searching when um, you're in a role and you're not happy, you're not feeling fulfilled in what you're doing, but you're not quite sure whether or not it's the the role itself that you're doing or whether it's the organisation that you're working for that's making you feel dissatisfied and not content. Um, and so I was asked that question and I can totally relate to that question because when I was working as a corporate lawyer, I um, felt as though I wasn't necessarily happy um, in the role that I was doing, but I wasn't quite sure whether it was corporate law and the, the way that it's practiced or whether it was where I was at the time. Um, and so, yeah, it's important for you to, um, to think about what is best in terms of moving from that place of not being sure why you're not liking what you're doing to the place of going into a job search and then trying to find something that's going to work well for you so this is what I would say if you are in that place of okay I want to find a new job I would urge you not to jump into looking at roles not to jump into looking at job boards and um, approaching uh, recruiters and to dive straight into looking for something And the reason why I'd urge you not to do that first is because the likelihood is you're going to end up going into a role that's very similar to the one that you're already in because you're going to feel like, well, this this is my experience, this is what I've done, and so you're just going to start looking for roles or um, noticing roles that are quite similar to what you're doing already. And if you're not feeling fulfilled in the role, you might then go through a whole recruitment process and then find yourself in the same position six months or a year down the line. And so this is what I want you to do instead. Instead of just jumping in and looking for a new role, I want you to take some time to do two things. The first thing is to really think about what it is about your 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 job um, and your role that you that you really enjoy, and list that out. Write it down. It's really good to write things down. So write down what it is you really enjoy about what you do, and then also write down what are the things that I don't really enjoy doing, and then think about why. So why is it that I enjoy this, and why is it that I don't enjoy Um, these other things so that's going to start getting you clear on the 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 things that you like within your day so you can then start to think about well what would my ideal work day look like so if it is that you like going to meetings or you like to um, correspond to people via via the phone or you like to spend time getting your head down and drafting something or you like to um, be out and about there's there's different things that you may be doing in your day and then you can identify well what would be the things I would like to do more of so note those down and know what those are. 
Um, so yeah, really think about what it is you want to be doing um, more of. What is it that you really enjoy, so that you know when you're searching for something in your in your jo- your search for your new role in your in your job search that you're going to be looking for those opportunities to do more of that. So when they talk to you about what the role looks like and when you read the job spec, you'll know the types of things that you should be looking out for, um, so that you're doing more of what you like to do in your in your role. So that's the first thing to do. So list out what you don't like to do um, on a day to day and what you really like to do. And the second one is to really think about your values. So what are some of the things that are really important to you? Because if you are able to align yourself with a role or an organisation that really speaks to your values, then the likelihood is you're going to feel far more fulfilled in what you're doing. So, for example, if you're somebody who is um, really passionate about the environment and you like to make sure that um, you know, you're recycling and you're looking after the planet, then um, if that's a really big value for you and that's high for you, then you, you're going to want to maybe look for a company that has similar values and not work for someone who isn't um, necessarily environmentally conscious and maybe doing things that are harming the environment. So um, that's just one example, but there's lots of other, other examples where you can think about, well, what are my core values? What's really important to me? And then you can see whether you can find an organisation that matches that. So organisations often have a mission statement. Um, they often talk about what their values are. They 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 have their their core message and their core branding, which which is all centred around their values. So you want to see if you can find something where you are you are aligning your personal values with theirs. But you can't do that unless you figure out what yours are. So if you haven't spent time just thinking that through, then I would suggest that you do that before you start looking for a job. So doing this foundational work, so thinking about your values, thinking about what you like to do, thinking about what you're good at, is going to set you up for going into a job search where you are much more clear about what you're looking for. So there's a famous author, Stephen Covey, and he has a quote which I love, I love, I love. So it is, start with end in mind. So whatever it is you're approaching, whatever it is you're doing, you should always start with end in mind. So instead of just going into something, you should think about, well, what is my end point? Where am I trying to get to? What goal am I trying to achieve? And you, 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 you think about that and then you work backwards and say, well, if this is my end point, then this is what I need to do first. So when it comes to your job search, you need to do that. You need to think, well, what is my end point? What type of organisation do I want to work for? And what type of day do I want to have when I'm working? And what type of work do I want to be producing? Figure that out first. And then you work backwards and start saying, well, well, what kinds of roles should I be applying for then? Where should I be looking for those roles? How can I be talking to people that might be able to introduce me to those types of roles? Um, so do that piece first. And that's going to make you far more successful in your job search. And when I say success, I mean um, finding a role that's a really good fit for you so that you don't find yourself in the position where you go through the job process, which is long and arduous and takes a lot of time and energy, and then find yourself feeling unfulfilled like six months or a year down the line. So that would be my advice and answer to this question. That's the first thing you should do in your job search. I hope that's useful for you. Um, That's all for me right now. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow. And yes. Please share this with your friends and come hang out with me in the Careers Beyond Motherhood community. So I'm going to put the link to that as well because we can continue the conversation. If you have any convers- any questions or anything that you want to ask, um, you, can, you can ask those in the group. I'm excited to share with you what is coming up in a week's time. So on the 9th of July 2018, we will be starting the Balanced Working Mum Challenge, which is a free five day challenge, which is going to help you to achieve more balance in your life. So if you are feeling overwhelmed with all of your to do's and trying to figure out how to juggle everything, then come and join us for the Balanced Working Mum Challenge. Head over to lightboxcoaching.com forward slash episode 28 for the link so that you can sign up for the challenge. The ladies that went through it when we ran it a few months ago had brilliant feedback and said it was really really useful so we will be going through some really simple but impactful things that you can be doing to adjust your uh, approach at home and at work so that you feel more balanced and you have more balance and have more time to do those things that are important to you and spend time with the little people that are important to you so come and join us on the challenge That's all for today. We will be back tomorrow and look forward to speaking to you then. Bye.
This podcast features music from Ben Sound.